physical health, and that is a responsibility for all of us. I want at this juncture to thank, through my co-chair, the Chairman of the Council of Governors, all the governors of the Republic of Kenya for the efforts that they are making individually and collectively. In today's briefing, I am encouraged to note that over 70% of county governments have met the set irreducible minimum that we agreed on a few weeks ago. This is only the start. We have urged each other to do more, to reach full compliance, and I have promised to work with them to help keep Kenyans working and producing as much as possible during this difficult time. We reminded each other, and let me remind Kenyans, that this is not a competition. It is not a competition between the national government and county governments. It is not a competition amongst counties as to who is doing better than the other. It is not a competition between political groupings. This, brothers and sisters, is a war that we shall either drown together or we shall hold each other up and see the glory of God as we celebrate our victory against this invisible enemy. We honor the souls of all we have lost to coronavirus, but I want to especially say that we also honor those who have lost life as a result of caring and tending for others. And this is our health workers. And I take note especially of Dr. Doreen Adisa Ugliaki, who lost her life, saving lives. And we say may perpetual light shine upon her and grant her family and particularly her twins who have been robbed of the gift of a mother far too early. We also extend today our gratitude to our law enforcement officers for their valiant acts. We thank God for his grace, for his mercy, and we pray for him to save the souls of those who have lost their lives to this pandemic. Sina ingine ya kuongeza isipokuwa kusema ten. Jukumu iko mikononi yetu. Kila moja wetu. Kila mwananchi. Wengi walikuwa anatarajia ya kwamba tutasema tutafunga inchi ten. Kufunga inchi haitasaidia. Kwa sababu vile nimesema serikali haiwezi kuwa kwa mlango wa kila mwananchi jukumu ni letu kila mmoja wetu kuhakikisha amelinda maisha yake na maisha ya wale ambao ni wapendwa wake tusione huu ugonjwa ukiwa ni kitu raisi Yastahili tu tuangalie yale ambaye yanatendeka nchi zingine hata nchi ambazo zimeendelea mara ishirini, mara mia zaidi yetu tuji tusijilinganishe na kusema oh 
kwingine hakuna kwingine hakuna kwa nini sisi tuko wengine hawana ikumbushe wa Kenya kuishi kwa demokrasia inchi ambaye iko na demokrasia inchi ambaye iko na uhuru wa wanahabari sisi kama taifa hatuna nguvu ya kuficha chochote yale ambaye yanatendeka tunawaambia kuna wengine ambao labda hawana hiyo wana huo uwezo lakini sisi kama taifa we are proud of the fact that we are a democracy and that we are able to tell each other the truth and to face up to the reality instead of sweeping the truth under the carpet and have our citizens suffer quietly i would rather we told each other the honest truth and arm our people with the capacity to fight a known enemy rather than one we pretends or who we pretend does not exist mimi najua tuko na nguvu ya kushinda wenzangu hii sio siasa wenzangu hii sio kabila ama ukabila wenzangu tuwaongea juu ya maisha juu ya maisha na najua ni wengi katika taifa letu ambao wanajua moja ama mwingine ambaye amepata huu ugonjwa najua pia tuko na wengi ambao wanajua moja ama mwingine ambaye amepoteza maisha yake juu ya hii ugonjwa ambao huna kwa leo suluhu ama hatuwezi kutibu kwa hivyo wenzangu usi, usi, usipojipenda we mwenyewe penda mamako penda ndugu yako penda dadako penda mtoto wako penda jirani wako na useme ya kwamba kwa sababu ya mapenzi yako na huyo utafanya yale ambaye yanatakikana kukinga na kulinda maisha yake na tuweze kuendelea na shughuli zetu tukijua ya kwamba twafanya leo mambo ambaye sio ya kawaida kwenda soko leo sio vile ulikuwa unaenda juzi kwenda kanisa leo sio vile ulikuwa unaenda juzi lazima upange mipango yako maisha yako kulingana na ile hatari ambaye ipo kwa hivyo wenzangu sitaki nizinene zaidi ya hapo nasema tu pia tulikuwa na mkutano na viongozi wa Interfaith Council na wamesema ya kwamba wangependa tuwe na siku nyingine ya maombi maombi ya kuweka wa Kenya pamoja maombi ya kuomba usaidizi wa Mungu wakati huu mgumu na kwa mkutano wetu na magavana tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutatenga siku lakini hata tukitayarisha kuomba hata tukiendelea kuomba kwa sababu najua ni wengi wanaombea taifa letu wanaombea nchi yetu wakati huu tujue ya kwamba Mungu pia alisema anasaidia wale ambao wanajisaidia tusiwe tunakaa taidie na we mwenyewe hujafanya ile ambaye amekupatia ubongo na uwezo wa kujisaidia we mwenyewe twamuomba atuongezee nguvu lakini najua pia Mungu asema nimekupatia hii uwezo wewe pia ujisaidie ndio ukienda kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu akusaidie unaweza kumwambia nimefanya uwezo wangu wote na pahali nimebaki nisaidie kwa hayo machache na mengi kwa sababu huu mkutano wa leo ulikuwa wangu pamoja na magavana ningependa tu nimwalike 
mwenzangu kocha wa baraza la mawazi uh, ya magavana aweze pia kunena machache gavana uparanya uh, your, your excellency the president of the republic of kenya uh, the cabinet secretaries who are here and the members of the press mimi nataka sikia leo nimeshukuru rais kwa yale yote ambayo amenena siku ya leo leo vile amesema tumekuwa na mkutano na magovernors wote na magovernors wamependekeza mambo mengi na kwa yale mengi ambayo wamependekeza rais tayari amechukua hatua kwa, kwa sababu sisi wote tuko kwa moja kwa hii kupikana na ili janga la corona tunataka tu wananchi wafuate yale maagizo ambayo mara kwa mara inatolewa na wizara ya afya tukifanya hivyo tutaweza pamoja kupikana na hii ugonjwa ambayo imekumba inji yetu na pia dunia kwa jumla kwa hayo machache na shukuru sana asante asante sana governor ile ningependa kutaja ya mwisho ni ya kwamba e, tumekubaliana pia ya kwamba tunataka kuondoa e, ile e, e, doubt ambaye iko haswa na tarehe za kufungua mashule yetu au vyo vyetu vya masomo mbalimbali mbali. na tumekubaliana kwa mkutano wetu leo ya kwamba waziri wa elimu profesa Magoha ataita mkutano wa washikadau wote wa elimu e, baada ya siku chache na wakishamaliza mkutano wao na mashauriano yao wataitana waweze kupatia wazazi waweze kupatia wanafunzi na watoto wetu wote e, vile tutaendelea na, na, na mambo ya, 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 ya elimu e, tukisonga mbele kwa hivyo mtarajie ya kwamba profesa Magoha akishamaliza huo mkutano ambao tumesema hapa atawaita na ndio waweze kutoa taarifa ama mwongozo ambao tutafuata kuhusu shule zetu mbali mbali university zetu na vile tutasonga mbele na mambo haya kwa hayo machache na mengi nasema Mungu aendelee kuibariki taifa letu la Kenya Mungu abariki wa Kenya wote pahali popote walipo. Asanteni sana na niwaombe tuendelee kukaa na imani na tuendelee kukaa na usalama na tuendelee kujikinga na hii janga la COVID-19. Asanteni sana.